welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a tutorial using the Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsessions palette. Um, these are, Huda Beauty came out with four, I think, um, of these little mini palettes. There's nine shades in them and they're, I mean, this is just like, like for me a no-brainer, like who would not want these little mini palettes and all the colors are so pretty. So today's going to be a tutorial using this palette and also kind of a review. Um, got, I give, give you a little bit of my opinions in there. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It's a little bit of a cut crease. I know that's really popular right now and every other video on YouTube is a cut crease, but um, I don't know. I just thought that it would look look best using these colors um so yeah uh, i hope you enjoy this video and i will see you in my next one so like i said in the beginning i'm going to use the huda beauty warm brown obsessions palette um i love these palettes i have all four of them um and they're just so small but they have every color that you would need for like that glam look that you see on like instagram and stuff like that so, yeah, I mean, this is like me in a palette. Like, if if I was a palette, this would be me. <laughs> so, the first thing that I'm doing is taking this matte white shade, and I'm just mattifying my lid. I already primed my eyelid with concealer, so I'm just going to set it. And then I'm going to go in with this lighter brown shade and use that as my transition color. I'm putting that in my crease and blending it upward. The reason why you want to start off with a light color is just so all the darker ones blend out and it just also creates dimension in your eyeshadow look. Then I'm going one shade darker with this um, orangey brown shade and I'm just doing the same thing. And I'm using a fluffy brush. Um, you really want to use the fluffiest brush you have for your crease. And then I'm going in with this really warm brown. This kind of reminds me of Coco Bear from Makeup Geek. So if you have that shadow, you can always use that as well. And I'm going in with a denser brush and putting this on the outer V. And I'm making sure to keep the colors light because um, as you go darker, the eyeshadows are going to get darker too. So I just don't want, I don't want it to be too dark right off the bat. Then I'm going in with this purpley color. And I'm using an even denser brush just to put that on the outer V of my lid. And this color is not as pigmented as I wish it would have been. Um, it kind of came off a little bit choppy, which is something that I was disappointed about in these palettes. And then because that color wasn't dark enough, I'm going in with this mocha, like, chocolatey color. And I'm doing the same thing. And as you can see, this shadow has, like, no payoff at all, which I will talk about in a second. So I kind of just wanted to stop for a minute. Um, I've been working with these two dark shades right here um, in the palette and I feel like they're kind of patchy and not pigmented um, like a lot comes on the a lot gets on the brush when you dip your brush in there but then when you um, go to apply it it kind of just like falls all over your face and nothing really there's really no color payoff on your lid so I just wanted to point that out I haven't really used this palette too much. The only shades that I've used in the palette so far, um, just like on a daily basis, are these two right here. And I really like those shades. They're really pigmented. But um, just so far, and using these darker shades in the palette, um, they're not really that pigmented. And they kind of go on patchy. So, I mean, I'm still going to finish the tutorial. Um, I mean, you can see a little bit of a color payoff, but no, I mean, I've... I'm having a pretty hard time working with these shades, um, so I just wanted to point that out if anybody was looking for, you know, to buy this palette. Then I'm using the lightest touch of this brick red shade and putting it in the crease. I kind of just think it adds some warmth and dimension into the crease and brings the look together. And then I'm going to cut my crease. What I do is I put concealer on my lid and then I look up and wherever the concealer touches is where I kind of connect it. I just feel like with my eye shape that works best for me so when I open my eyes and close them you can still tell it's a cut crease. I always start out with a little bit of concealer and kind of build it up. That's just what I find works the best just so I don't use too much concealer and cover up all of my eyeshadow. And then I'm going to take a mix of those brown shades and 
kind of blend out the lines just a little bit. And then I'm also going to take those brown shades and kind of go in the outer corner a little bit to fade in that cut crease into the outer part of the lid. And then I am taking this middle gold shade and I am going to put it on the center of the eyelid just over where I put the concealer. For my lower lash line, I'm taking those dark browns on a dense definer brush and I'm putting that, like, kind of smoking out my lower lash line. I do feel like the color has worked better a little bit more on my lower lash line than it did on my um, lid. But, um, yeah, that's just what I did for my lower lash line. And then I used that matte white shade again to highlight the inner corner and the brow bone. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will do some more tutorials with these Obsessions palettes. Thank you.